In this video, I explain what is scale, how scale is represented. The scale is represented by three ways. First one is the enlarged scale, second one is the reduced scale, and third one is full scale. So, first we understand what is the scale and why these scales are find out. Okay, so what is scale? The proposal by which dimension are either reduce or increase in a drawing in order to understand the details of object is called scale means we are drawing the various object in a piece of paper so that is a size limitations are there okay so drawing is prepared on a piece of paper and the size of the piece of papers are limited suppose we can draw the larger object on a bigger sheets of a paper then it is a difficult to handle there is a possibility to damage the sheets okay so there is a certain limitation for us that is a size of a drawing sheet now some object are the smaller some object are larger in a size so larger object we can consider that is a various machinery that is used in mechanical engineering suppose you are the civil in a civil engineering then the building size are a bigger suppose you can plan the town planning okay so town is are in this larger kilometers buildings are in a size of feet okay so we cannot draw the building on a same size on a larger drawing sheet okay we cannot draw the machine on a larger piece of paper okay so then what we need to do we need to draw the machines we can need to draw the building into a smaller size means we can reduce the size suppose the size of the building is the 30 feet or a 10 meters then we can reduce its size okay by considering the some scale so it is called as the reduced scales now some object are the smaller like as the watch various electronic items screw okay so we are able to draw the smaller object on a full size okay smaller object means we can consider the size in the mm that is a 5 mm 10 mm okay so smaller object are also difficult to draw on a piece it is also difficult to read it so when the object size is a smaller we can need to draw in a bigger size okay so it is called as the enlarged scales some of the object are on the perfect size okay then we can draw onto the same scales it is called as the full size okay so that's why the scale is important the scale may be represents by the following way first one is the full scale so what is the meaning of full scale the scale in which the actual measurement of the object are represents on the drawing is referred to be full scale means object size and the drawing size is same okay means the object size is the 15 centimeters then we can draw the drawing of the object it is the 15 centimeters okay so it is considered as the full scale now how the full scales are represents full scale is represent as one gem one that i explain first i and we understand this meaning means in a full scale the drawing and object are of same size so representative fraction of a full size scale so what is the definition of representative fraction representative fraction is denoted as the rf n is equal to dimension of drawing divided by dimension of object means this part is dimension of drawing means dimension of object in a drawing divided by actual dimensions of a object so here what we mention the drawing and object are of same size means that is a 15 centimeter length of the object is represent by 15 centimeter so 15 15 is cancelled then what we get answer we get the answer is 1 so 1 means it is a 1 gem 1 okay so in a few exam it is possible they are asked in a mcq questions what this one gem one is indicates what is a one gem five what is a one gem 20 20 gem ones okay so you need to select the correct option that is a full size or a reduced scales or a enlarged scales now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to engineering graphics and basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for engineering graphics various link is provided in descriptions as well in car or you can also visit the playlist to watch the 
various subject now second scale it is the reduce scale so from the name what we understand we reduce the dimension of the object it is considered as the reduce scale or we can reduce the dimensions of the object so when the drawing are prepared smaller than the actual size of the object then the scale is said to be a reduce scale okay so we already i already gave the examples that is a building size various machines that are larger in the dimensions okay so we are not able to draw the building on to the same size okay because the drawing sheet size is limited okay so we reduce its dimensions by considering some proportion okay it is considered as the reduce scales so dimensions of large object must be reduced to accommodate the standard size of drawing sheets now what is the representative fraction for a reduce scale so again i mentioned the definition that is the same definition is there dimension of drawing dimension of object now here what we are doing we are reduce the size of object in a drawing means suppose here the size of the building means height of the building is 20 meters okay and we are reducing its dimension to in a mm or in a foot okay so 20 meter is represent in a 1 meters okay so what is the ratio it is ratio is 1 divided by 20 or we can mention it is a 1 gem 20 okay so that is a various ratio is possible means the representative fraction is possible first here example is given 1 gem 2 so what is one is indicate one is indicate dimension of drawing what is this 2 5 10 20 50 100 500 and 1000 is indicate it's indicate the dimension of the object okay so here this unit of one and unit of 1000s are same means all the units are in a same units okay the object uh, size in the meter and the drawing size in mm it is not considered the proper representative fraction okay we need to put in a same units okay so the unit of all the are same okay so one is indicate dimension of the drawing divided by dimension of object so these 2 5 10 20 50 100 500 1000 one is indicate the dimension of object so these are the representative frac fraction for a reduce scale now next one is the enlarged scale so from the name we can already understand the dimensions of the object are increased so earlier i gave the examples of the watch screw and the small electronic equipments okay they are smaller in dimension and smaller in dimension means it is difficult to draw and read the dimensions okay so first what happen the when the object are designs its drawing is prepared after the designs and this drawing is provide to manufacturing units okay so we need to draw the drawing in a proper dimensions okay we are draw very small size and we can supply it into the manufacturing unit so these persons are not able to read it okay so we are required to draw in a larger size and then give the drawing to the manufacturing units so if the drawing are prepare larger than the actual size of the object then the scale is said to be enlarged scale means when we draw the drawing by a larger than it is considered as the enlarged scales now what is the representative fraction for enlarged scales so again i mentioned the same definition okay that is the dimension of drawing divided by dimension of the object okay so here we you already understand size of the drawing is more dimension of the drawing is more means dimension of the screw is 1 mm and we can draw the drawing a screw diameter is 50 okay so actual dimensions of the screw diameter is 1 mm and we draw it is a 50 mm okay so what do we get it is a 50 mm ones okay now we can indicate the 1 mm by 20 mm okay so it is the 20 gem ones okay so these all are the representative fractions for a and large scale means 50 20 10 5 and 2 is indicate the dimension of drawings and this 1 1 is indicate the dimensions of object means all representative fraction it is a full scale it is a reduced scale so it is an enlarged scale the first digit or the left side units of this jam is indicate the dimension of the drawing and the right side is indicate the dimensions of object so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the engineering graphics or 
other subject of mechanical engineering like as the basic mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends